Generation Y, the entitled ones, millennials. We've been called everything from tech savvy and motivated to lazy and plain egotistical. We also skate, motherfucker. Radical as fuck. All right, sorry. But a new media trend has emerged, centered around blaming Gen Y for killing great pillars of American commerce, like casual dining, real estate, diamonds, and even napkins. Are you really gonna miss napkins? I mean, really. But today on Wheelhouse, we're asking, are millennials killing cars? Generally, people use millennial to refer to people in their 20s right now. But the term millennial was actually coined in 1987 by authors William Strauss and Neil Howe. They used it to describe kids who were born in 1982 who would be graduating high school in the year 2000. In the year 2000. Generally, if you were born between 1980 and 2000, you're a millennial. I guess that means someone who's 38 is technically a millennial. Whoa, I wonder what I'll be like when I'm 38. Hmm. By now, I think we've all heard from online publications that millennials are killing cars, that they're just not as into them as their parents and grandparents were. I mean, look at this picture from True Car. I don't think you can find a more cliche depiction of the millennial archetype. For some reason, this lady is wearing a fedora, which were on their way out by 2008. And her friend is wearing a flat brim cap. And she's in the back seat for some reason, even though they look like friends. There's a lot going on here, and I feel like I'm getting sidetracked. So, is it true that millennials are driving less? The first statistic we should look at is Generation Y's car ownership. It is true that millennials, as a group, own fewer cars than their parents did when at the same age. One hypothesis as to why this is, is that demographically, younger people are starting to move to more population-dense areas. Since these bigger cities have public transit systems, you don't really need a car to get around. A transit center study found that millennials don't attach as much of a stigma to public transportation as older Americans do. The same goes for ride-sharing services like Lyft or Uber. But in that case, it's just that their parents can't figure them out and won't share their credit card information because they saw a post on your aunt's Facebook page that their account was hacked. It makes sense that with increased access to these driving alternatives, millennials are fine with not owning a car. But there are other factors at play. Let's look to a car company who actively tried to court the elusive millennial buyer. In 2014, Toyota revealed their U-squared concept car, apparently designed to reflect the lifestyle and needs of an entrepreneurial urban driver. It was super practical, but frankly, pretty ugly, which shouldn't be a surprise considering Toyota had an entire brand centered around ugly but practical cars for young people 15 years ago. Scion's lineup was composed of just two models, the Compact XA and the boxy as all hell XB. But the XB was a big hit. The cubist hate it or love it style was polarizing for sure, but no one could say it was boring. Despite the bizarre marketing campaigns and genuine attempts to foster a Scion community, a growing segment of their sales weren't the millennials. It was old people. It turns out that the XB was the perfect car for old folks. It was practical, economical, and most importantly, easy to get in and out of. The driver's seat was positioned so you barely had to crouch to enter. All you had to do was plop your butt onto the seat and swing your legs in. When the economy tanked, that kept a lot of younger people from buying new cars. And when sales did recover, Scion's brand perception shifted from young people mobiles to Toyota's B team. The brand never achieved the stranglehold on the millennial market that they wanted, and it was eventually folded back into Toyota in 2016. Rest in peace, Scion. I'll never forget seeing your sheeple commercial on G4 Tech TV and thinking, what the hell was that? So even when automakers try their best to appeal directly to millennials, it doesn't really work out. But again, that doesn't answer if Gen Y is really killing the auto industry. So what's going on? Well, like most questions, the answer is all about money. According to the Federal Reserve, Economic factors, rather than preference, are behind the decline in millennial car ownership. The Fed compared the finances of people aged 25 to 34 in 2013, and people in that same age group in 1989. What the study found is that when adjusted for inflation, the younger group earns 20% less than the older group. That's quite a bit, and that's not all they found. The rate of home ownership dipped while the cost of living has gone up. That's crazy. Young people aren't killing the auto industry, at least not intentionally. Millennials just don't have any money to keep the industry healthy with. 
What millennials do have, a little money for at least, is used cars. According to the Wall Street Journal, demand for used cars was at an unusually high level this summer. Nearly 40 million used cars were sold last year, which is double the amount of new cars. According to Edmunds.com, near new vehicles offer greater savings now than they ever have before. Buyers looking at three-year-old vehicles would save $13,000 on average compared to a brand new car. That's significant. There's also been a cultural shift from car ownership to leasing a car. This means more gently used off lease cars are available as used cars from original dealers. Unless automakers do something to make their cars cheaper, they can expect to lose new car sales to the used market. But it's not entirely their fault either, because cars aren't cheap to make, and unless something is done about those tariffs we talked about a few weeks ago, that's not going to change either. Look, it's easy to blame millennials for a lot of things. Every generation looks down on the one that succeeds them. In fact, I'll bet the greatest generation thought baby boomers were going to kill cars too because those kids weren't building rad hot rods in the garage like they were. It's a vicious cycle. We all need to calm down. Millennials aren't just selfie-obsessed egomaniacs concentrated in big cities like we're led to believe. Millennial only refers to when you were born, and there are millions of millennials just like the ones I grew up with in my small town that love and need cars too. And we don't want to see them go any less than anyone else. Thanks for watching Wheelhouse. We take a look at the issues that affect you in the car world every week, so hit that yellow subscribe button right about here. Uh, I mentioned tariffs earlier. Check out this episode right here. Check out this sick episode of Up to Speed. It's awesome. Follow me on Instagram at Nolan J. Sykes. Follow Donut at Donut Media. Be nice. See you next time.